evening. Here are some of the headlines to anticipate against tomorrow, 7th of March 2023. This is tomorrow's news today. We begin with election matters. Atiku and PDP supporters storm INEC headquarters in protest. INEC seeks court approval to reconfigure Beavers. INEC resort viewing portal IREV now working and ready for governorship polls, says INEC. Cancel presidential polls, says chief security officers. Soludo denies conspiracy against Peter Obi. Enugu Labour Party replaces slain candidate with his brother. APC and Labour Party unite in Cross River gubernatorial election. Delta and Lagos PDP debunk alliance talks with Labour Party. Electoral violence. Police record 185 incidents, 203 arrests, and recover 18 firearms. Kano Court grants Honorable Dogua 500 million naira bill. In other national matters, prepare for severe flooding, Nema warns Nigerians. Lagos State University reopens gates shut by protesting students. Gunmen kill pastor and two sons in play two. Three killed and many injured as headsmen attack Edo community. In business, Naira scarcity, banks shut down after customers storm branches. CBN releases 114 billion Naira under 100 for 100 policy. In technology news, Tesla slashes Model X and Model S prices in the US. Twitter to roll out encrypted DMs this month. In international news, Nigerians insist on staying in Tunisia despite state-sanctioned racist attacks. Pakistani suicide bomber kills nine police officers. Taliban reopens Afghan universities, but women are still barred from attending. And lastly, in sports, Formula One, Hamilton and Mercedes play down future. Djokovic extends record as world number one. I won't drag NFF to FIFA, says Nobu. Details of this news are more on our website tomorrow at guardian.ng or pick up a copy of our newspapers from your closest newsstands. Do not forget to follow us on social media at Guardian Nigeria across our social media pages. I am Lois Oguni. Good night.